Loyola Marymount student, Jordan Lindsay killed by three sharks attack in Bahamas. Jordan Lindsay was studying communications at Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles. She's an animal lover and a climate change advocate. She was traveling with her family with a tour group named Sandy Toes. Jordan Lindsay was swimming near Rose Island, in the Bahamas, when she was set upon by three sharks. And it was there that things took a turn for the worst. Her parents saw the sharks coming from afar and desperately tried to warn her but she heard them too late. The sharks tore off her right arm and bit her left arm, legs and buttocks. <laughs> Just a heartbreaking situation. As you said, this young woman was with her family at the time of the attack, and we do have her picture. This is 21-year-old Jordan Lindsay. She was in the Bahamas snorkeling yesterday afternoon uh, when this attack happened. Uh, we know it was near Rose Island around 2 o'clock. Uh, she said, we are told her family was there at the time. Uh, they saw the sharks coming towards her and tried to warn her, but sadly she did not hear them at the time and officials in Bahama are saying that the attack involved three sharks. Now one of her arms was severed and she was bitten in several other areas as well. The 21 year old was pulled from the water and taken to a hospital but did not make it. We are told an autopsy will be done and then the embassy uh, will help transport her body back to California. We did speak with a witness who was there at the time of the tragedy. Some of the people that were actually in the water at the time were describing um, how it was a pretty uh, horrific scene um, and that several of the workers um, had jumped in the water um, per you know their account of, the, of what happened, uh, had jumped in the water to, to help the girl. GoFundMe page has been set up to help the family on it. They describe Jordan Lindsay as a beautiful, gentle soul. Back here live, we do know uh, officials in the Bahamas have put out an advisory warning the public about this attack. At this time, though, they do not know what type of sharks were involved. That is the very latest here in Westchester. I'm Erin Myers. I'll send it back to you. Neighbors like Yvette Liao was shocked to hear about Lindsay's death. My heart is pounding. I cannot believe it, she said. I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna go through this. Jordan Lindsay's family has set up a GoFundMe account to pay for the funeral, and to raise money for an animal sanctuary. As of this writing, the Lindsay family had already raised more than $50,000, which was well over the family's initial goal of $25,000. <laughs> Our thoughts are with Jordan Lindsay's family during this difficult time. 